Hello everyone, I'm Mikko and I love gaming, and this is Metal Slug Super Vehicle. Uh, one of the premier games of the Neo Geo system. Uh, apparently Nazca Corporation has the copyright, but I'm pretty sure that SNK at least adopted the game because it, it ran, it's ran at least like seven games long now, uh, of which I plan to play five. As you can tell from the uh, instructions, it's a, a platform shooter, much in the vein of a uh, Contra. But I can uh, always know by now it also has really nice graphics, a very cartoony animation that, uh, at least to me, always made it super appealing. Even though usually I'm not really an expert in the uh, particular genre. Yeah, the, both the graphics and the animation are really detailed. Even the music is pretty hype. All sorts of stuff exploding and shit. <laughs> you can even knife guys. I think you didn't acquire the, uh, little tank that the game is named after. Mm. Uh, I don't, uh, didn't bust up my tank yet. Yeah, a big part of getting a good score in this game is rescuing these guys. And, uh, every time you get killed, you sort of, like, lose your, uh, lose your bonus for the rescue, so. For anyone actually trying to, uh, get a high score and impress all their friends with it. <laughs> uh, they, they want to survive. The thing is, a single hit kills you, I mean, if you're not in the tank. It's a pretty tall order, really. At least, you know, on your first few dozen playthroughs <laughs> until you got all the patterns and shit figured out. Oh, darn. They shot my tank. Get out of there. Oh. I noticed I got the rocket launcher. Oh, so close. Whew. Wow, I actually beat it without dying once. Nice! And see, I get a nice bonus for rescuing privates Ranade and Pira and. <laughs> Why not? You seem to have names, really. Yeah, nice. Now we are in the very. Man, <laughs> looking at those logos. Their bad guyness is so subtle. Get some <laughs> huge bonus for the liking the doll. There we go. It's really pretty gritty. <laughs> Look at that. Check out the animation on the burning guys. That's terrible. I don't think you can even fire diagonally, you can just up or forwards, or maybe if you press the button just the right time as the as you're pointing upwards. Yeah, nah, rockets. Oh! Shoot it up. See, now I'm not gonna get any bonus for the guys I rescued before this point. Oh, of course, I will release my weapon. Okay. Oh, I keep to use my grenades. Which are pretty much the most effective thing I have.
even more effective than the rocket launcher. No, I didn't get the rocket launcher. I'm gonna run out of rockets. Oh, darn. Yeah, I really gotta be... As per usual, I'm saving up on... stuff I could be using just because... I don't know, I think I'll need them later or something. Ooh, shotgun. Thank you. Oh! Got stabbed. Uh, it's one credit down. Yeah, I didn't get me this time. Ooh, more bombs. I think I'm gonna need him. There's a uh, look at that. A tank on rails. Um. Oop, I did not hit it. Uh, did he go higher? And, yeah, from, oh no! <laughs> jumped right into the bullet. Or, what are you called? Shell, I guess. There we go, cut him down. Done. These grenades could fly higher. Ah, there we go. Get the sucker out. Everything blows up. Up! Too late with that jump. Oh, they're really laying on the uh, grenade. Ah, there you go. There's the wood goes down. Down for the next boss fight. Yeah, they really pile, pile them on at times, and it's just freaking awesome. Yeah, in the aeroplane. Oh, ah. oh there we go. Fighting platform. Now I can uh, fire my cannon at him. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, that's gonna good. Ah, actually, we should avoid it somehow. Oh, okay, not avoid that one. But, uh, ah, I was gonna say, luckily the tank is tougher than me, but yeah, I mean, you can't take anything. Ah, ah, darn it. I'm taking way too many hits here. Yeah, that plane was way tougher than I expected it to be. I was lost the level, but yeah. No bonus for captures or recaptures. As I went and died right at the end. Multiple times. It's gonna be a little bit unforgiving with mistakes, but like, I'm, I'm not sure it ever really like becomes unfair. You can always see the bullets coming. You know, most of them are fairly slow. It's just you know whether you or not you have the reflexes to uh, do something about it. I love them having a shoot here button. Ah. Um, blow up, sucker! And put it upwards. 
I mean, seriously, look at this background. It's freaking beautiful. Now, I see them making less detailed stages these days. Of course, again, that's not exactly fair compared directly, but still. Um. Oh, that was kind of stupid. You boy me. Ugh. Run it. Oh, no. You guys are totally investing me. Oh, that's a little harsh. But yes, we will teach other help. <laughs> there we go. Ah, you're just time for the tank. Oh, no, you don't. Trying to sneak through. Wow, he has a lot of freaking grenades. Uh. Uh, wow, really? Oh, was I wasn't supposed to get past that. Eh, well. Pretty sure I could have just messed up the timing. But like I said, at least for the most part, this, these games are really fair about giving you a chance to uh, do something about it and just get hit because you didn't see something coming. <laughs> Did that just hide in the... In the toilet bowl. Oh no, I run out of credits. Ah, it's so engaging, I couldn't even keep track of that. But yeah, this is Metal Slug, and yeah, I, uh, I plan to also do X, which is sort of a remake of 2, 3, 4, and 5, which were all out on the uh, Neo Geo system. And hopefully you'll, uh, you'll enjoy seeing me fail at these games. <laughs> Yeah, the first one stuck to a pretty classic feeling war setting, but uh, things get a bit more, uh, a bit more out there later on. This was Mikolov's Gaming, and see you again next time.